Hi, I'm Brenda, and this is Module 4 of Applied Ethics in Healthcare, the big ticket ethical issues in healthcare today. So we're going to be talking about um, some of the details of, of the different issues that we might be facing. And we've reached the halfway point in our course. So far, we've covered the theories, the philosophies, principles, your own profession standards. Um, we've covered ethical decision making and how the principles guide us in the moment with our ethical decisions and also some frameworks that can help us as we're making ethical decisions. So as we get into our objectives, we're looking at how do we analyze um, contemporary ethical problems in clinical and organizational health care. Can, can we do that yet? Um, can we apply these principles and frameworks to evaluating case-based ethical issues in contemporary healthcare. So for this module, I'm really hoping that as we come out of this module that we're able to apply um, our ability to analyze ethical issues into some of the things that might be troubling you, things that you might be facing. Some of these issues that are coming up these days could include things like new technologies and innovations in healthcare, issues surrounding patient and client autonomy, confidentiality, informed consent, resource allocation, cultural issues, health disparities, and other pertinent topics. We also want to um, apply ethical principles, theories, and decision-making frameworks to develop your own perspective on how to resolve these current healthcare issues. But what are the biggest issues that we see? Well, it's kind of hard to define big in this case because some of the issues that are the most frequently occurring are not the ones that are the most troubling. After all, if we're confronting the same issue over and over again, shouldn't we be getting good at it? You would hope so. At least maybe they don't seem as troubling to us when they're not something that's new to us. Sometimes it's when it's an entirely out of the blue situation that we um, feel the most angst, the most um, emotional difficulty with dealing with. Um, the issues that we confront may vary from profession to profession. However, there are some commonalities. One is that age-old um, ethical dilemma of autonomy versus beneficence. The patient or client wants us to do something for them, um, wants, us, wants us to do something different than what the entire healthcare team thinks that they should have. So for example, if a client's only goal is to be able to go out and smoke independently, and we know they have a lung condition and that smoking is absolutely contraindicated for them, what does the healthcare team do? Do we help them to be independent in smoking or do we say, no, no, we're not gonna help you to do that because um, it's not good for you, beneficence. So some of the issues that philosophers debate also come up as we're talking about ethical behavior. Things like abortion, euthanasia, genetic engineering, health disparity, resource distribution, the cost of healthcare, social determinants of health, other issues of justice, professional patient relationships and confidentiality, privacy, informed consent, fidelity, and technological advances like AI and things like data privacy and security, environmental issues such as climate change and pollution, which can have an impact on people's health. We also have issues related to persons and organizations misbehaving, such as conflict of interest, crossing professional boundaries, sexual misconduct, issues related to financial concerns, um, such as fraud, billing and coding issues, productivity, documentation, truthfulness and communication and advertising, and communication with clients and team members. So the list of hot button issues can just go on and on, and it continues to grow all the time. Just think about how things changed with COVID-19 and how all of a sudden we had a whole host of different issues regarding resource allocation of PPP and ventilate, PPE and ventilators. Um, we also have had issues of should we continue life-saving interventions and what happens when the power is cut as happened with Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Helene. What do we do? What, what is our obligation when um, we're having to, say, manually provide respiration to someone who needs a ventilator because there's no power for them? What's, what's my obligation? Other issues like minimum care standards for undocumented people entering the country who may have no insurance or very minimal insurance. There are so many hot button issues going on right now, and there's not necessarily easy answers to any of them. How are we going to address them? 
Well, it's your time to shine. This week, you're going to be selecting your own topic and doing some exploration by selecting one professional peer-reviewed article from the literature, not the popular press, to read and critique. You're going to be responding to each other's topics as well in the discussion forum. While we may find issues that, for which there is no clear answer and we may disagree, it's important to inform ourselves and discuss the issues in all their various facets. I'm also going to ask you to remember to be civil as you're conversing with each other. And remember, we don't have to agree. We just need to listen and learn from each other and understand that there are varying points of view and everybody has the reasons behind the reason why they chose their particular point of view. This will help us to stretch our minds to look at angles of these issues that we haven't previously considered and we're going to stretch our abilities to work through the ethical issues and find options that we may not like or love but that we can live with as we continue to pursue ethical practice.